That garlic parmesan, as good going in as it is coming out. <laughs> okay. And now, cheese wits. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to your room. I was thinking that as you were saying that. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? None. What's happening with you? None. You beat Chris here for the first time in a few weeks. Yeah, I know, right? Because I was here on time. No. Mm. Really, Mike, I I, uh, <clears throat> I fired up the computer a half hour ago. <laughs> it takes so long to fucking sometimes when you start it up, it's like, we're going to update this and do this and do this. And I was wondering when you were going to figure that out. It only took 50 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be that day, is it? <laughs> nice. Nice. Look at, oh, man. It's fucking been raining here for two days. Ugh. Just two fucking days of straight rain. And I, I, I fear the rain. <laughs> yeah. I fear the rain because of the flooding. Yeah, you've had some issues with that stuff. Yeah, but I see that the drain is working and it's draining into the pond. But there's still water in the pipe, so I don't know. I still might have to have the roto guy come and roto the far end. I'll tell you what, I left the house um, or I went downstairs or so. I think I had just started the dishwasher or something or flushed a toilet, whatever it was. And I went downstairs to the garage to do something and I'm hearing water. Like I forgot that I had just done whatever Mm -hmm. the thing was and I'm hearing water and I'm like, what the hell? What's leaking? Uh, uh, yeah. It was nothing I leaking. Know. Everything was fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that always freaks me out too. Sometimes um I'll be I'll go go use the downstairs bathroom and I'll hear water and like, what 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 the hell is going on? And then I realize, oh Jody's upstairs. Yeah. So she just turned the sink on and I'm not hearing the sink go. It's a, it's trickling down. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what? I, I've got a rat problem. No. In, just in the garage. I've I've killed most of them, I think. Or or caught them. I actually haven't killed them. I've caught them and released them into nature so the owls can eat them. Well, then they're probably um, coming but, back. It's just the same one coming back over no, and over no, again. I, 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 there's a couple, three of them. I've, I've seen at least two more in there, two left. And so I've got humane traps, but uh, I'm going to have to go to the poison. Poison. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to the poison because I got to get rid of them before I put a horse uh, grain out there. Yeah, I can't I can't have them shitting in the horse grain. <laughs> you know that would be bad. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna have to put the poison out there. And I don't like killing things, but you know, I also don't want to get the plague. <laughs> no, I saw some squirrels running up like a tree that was right next to my roof line yesterday yeah, and i yeah. was like you fuckers better stay out of my attic crawl space no oh, hell yeah they'll be in there chewing white he'll be sitting there watching something yeah they, what the fuck happened to the power there's no electrical storm. you What's know at my last house power? raccoons got in the attic and destroyed it and i had to have the whole attic redone i remember you had the, and then, the problem and then two years later like five minutes after the you know the company that took care of it they said if something gets in within two years, they'll fix it up for free. It was like two years and two weeks. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. And then it's, squirrels. It's like, it's like a car warranty. Yeah, exactly. 50,000 miles or 50,000 miles point one, And then that's when it goes. Everything falls the fuck apart. Oh, fuck yeah. It always happens that way. Where is Christopher? I don't know. I'm going to send a text message. To our group yeah, see, chat. Now, see, see, there's the difference between Christopher and me. Which is me, what? I'm 30 seconds, you know, just not getting to the computer fast enough. Chris, he's a day and a half behind. I don't know. Last week I texted you before you got on. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, but I then you had that with the computer and you couldn't log in and then the Gmail no, and then the other thing, thing and then the, yeah. I, I don't under, I, the computer used to be so fast. You were on MySpace. I don't know what was happening. <laughs> but isn't is there any others? What other ones are there? MySpace. What was before MySpace? What, um, there we, was something else before MySpace. We read books. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't you? Couldn't you see pictures of people on Messenger or something? Or we or didn't some, have some, Messenger. No. What was there? It was some other message one. 
that, that was before there my was like space. chat rooms on AOL and stuff. Yeah, maybe that was at the AOL chat rooms, I guess. Before that, we had typewriters. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to call each other on the phone. And if we weren't and, home, we just didn't talk to each other. You know, the funny thing about typewriters, this is how fucking re- ridiculous we are as human beings. Yeah, you ca- <laughs> I caught myself. <laughs> I definitely was going to say the other R word there. I know you were. No, no, but it's an okay word because it it it, it was the, the the word I was going as I was going to use it would be correct. We are so ridiculous in this. We had two different kinds of fonts for typewriters. Remember, there was Pica, and then there was the other one. I don't know what the other one was. There were two different types of uh, of typewriter fonts. I don't remember that. Well, yeah, I, I, maybe you know that what? was in your day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you're, you're, you're cut off from any more bullying. <laughs> oh, damn it. What the hell am I going to stick around the rest of the hour for? A bully. All right. I'm going to check and see. I'm going to check and see right now while we wait for Christopher. Let's see. Typewriter fonts. Oh, I can't even see it. I have lights on in here. If you uh, Google typewriter fonts, it's going to come up with websites that let you download fonts. Yeah, probably two. No, I'm going to type this instead too. Types of typewriter fonts. Let's see what it says. Uh, <laughs> what fonts do typewriters use? It's a Pica and Elite. There's the two. Oh. Elite. <laughs> and apparently, I think Elite's. That's the one that college college graduates graduates from Harvard and Princeton and Yale use. The rest oh, is that of it? Is like a, <laughs> Us common folk couldn't use the elite yeah. font, right? We 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 use the, uh, the 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 regular. Boy, it's a lot of fucking. Spe- speaking of those elite colleges, there's a lot of crap going on with those uh, with those colleges losing endorsements and stuff for their anti-Semitic marches and things. Mm. There's a lot of man. There's a lot of there's a lot of shit swirling around there for the the, the dummies with the high high end educations. It doesn't matter how much you spend on the education if you don't get. No, you can still be ignorant. With. Oh yeah, you well, and they're not just ignorant, Jess. They're ignorant. Ignorant. They're ignorant. They're a special kind of ignorant. Do you think he got his feelings hurt by our? First email that I was waiting to talk about until Wally, he gets here. No, don't 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 say it till he gets right, here. Please don't say it. Him. Let's call him and see what happens. Yeah. Don't say it. Maybe he's on acid again. My friend Cisco called me the other night at 9.30. At night? Yeah. I'm going to say something about that here in a second. Please leave your message for three zero one nine. You played his whole... You better cut that out. We're not live. It's not like I can't edit it. Yeah. Christopher. I just wanted to see if you would be joining us today. It's eight minutes past Get the Fuck on the Podcast. So you, you you know he's sleep he's either okay. sleeping or he passed out taking a shit. Did you pass out taking a shit? That's what Wally's guess is. Or maybe you're on MySpace this week. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna t- I'll talk about uh, Cisco. Tell you what, somebody oh. calls me at nine thirty at night these days. I feel like that means somebody's dead. That's it right there. I was I was so I was like oh, fuck. Why is why is Cisco calling me at nine thirty? On a Friday night. <laughs> Holy shit. We're so fucking it, old. <laughs> it, it, it's, I know, but it, it's it's scary, right? Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. Because Jody wasn't here. She was at the football game. And because uh, 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 Dagan was at the football game. And I was here. And the phone rings. I look at Cisco. What? What's wrong? That's, I hate my first instinct is, what's wrong? Yeah. Oh, Hello, look who Christina. joined us. Are you awake, sir? 
Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Christopher. No, I'm well. I'm well awake. I just had to deal with. Deal with what? You cut out. Internet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no self service. Oh, there isn't. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Yeah, wait, 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 wait huh? So I was mentioning to Jess that I got a phone so, call the other night, the Friday night at 930. I got a phone call from my friend in Virginia, Cisco. And yeah, yeah. I'm at this advanced age now. Uh, Jess is not quite as advanced, but she's in that same. Your first instinct is who died. As soon as you hear the phone ring at 930 at night on a Friday night, you're like, oh, what the hell happened? What's wrong? No, as it turns out, it's, it's the other reason people call you late at night on a Friday night. They're drunk. <laughs> oh, you know what's funny? I knew it was been... <laughs> He, he Chris, had some friends out. over, and uh, was... the friend was from Maine. I'm listening for Chris. I know he had something to say. No, no, no. I, you actually cut out if you said something funny. Try me one more time. No, I didn't say anything funny. I never say anything funny. Oh, okay. Well, why start today? <laughs> I'm the le- I'm the least funny of us. What the fuck is this? No. Jeff's so, voicemail? He- what the fuck is this? That's the voicemail I just uh, left while I was <laughs> calling you to tell you to get the fuck on the podcast. Yeah. Well, I sent you a note that said I was going to be late. Where? It- oh, oh, I, I suggest did you, you, I suggest sir. you look at the text that says Jess and Wally. It says, I will be up to and including five minutes late. And you replied to that text, Christopher, hello. I did not see any text that I was oh. replying to, so it didn't come through. Oh. Well, that's a fucking shame, isn't it? Because I tell you, that's how I sent it to both of you, so both of you would get it. Oh, no, well, well, we, we all use, I, I use a studio, not a cell phone, so I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Right, right. Except when the electricity goes out there and we're the fuckville. Yeah, <laughs> right. Other than that. <laughs> we just thought maybe you got your feelings hurt because of our our first ever email to the podcast. Oh, oh my so feelings weird. were not hurt about that. I got to tell you something. I had no idea that Wally's sister listened. I well, had absolutely <laughs> no idea until we got that email. Let, let's let's share. Let's share the email, shall we? And please, well, I wish you would. Please, Jess, read it with some with a sense of fervor. Okay. Well, first of all, I yeah, want to say that the subject please. line is what caught my attention first. Not uh-huh. because I thought we were going to get anything out of it, but because it was so poorly worded that I was like, "What the fuck is this spam?" Because the subject line says sponsorship Under Armour offer. Now. People who would be offering sponsorships for a company like Under Armour have a good sense of the English language and grammar and pop- proper word placement. So yes. I knew that we were not getting an actual Under Armour sponsorship offer just from that. Right. But I opened the email to see what's going on because I figured if nothing else, we were going to get some some fodder out of this, something to make fun of. And I was not wrong. No, you weren't. The email is from Stuart, Stuart M. And it says... Hey, all just found your podcast. You guys fucking suck. I laughed so hard. I love it. I laughed so hard. I think so, Stuart loves us. I think Stuart loves us, too. Here, Here's the first. And I don't know what, what we don't know what profession Stuart's in, but we're all former radio. Not making folks. offers and for current. Under Armour. <laughs> We're all current radio, uh, current radio folk of sorts. I'm and ish. We know that when people start telling you you fucking suck, they you love are you. Doing a great job. Yes, God damn right. If if you elicit a reaction, you've done your work. Exactly. You've done your job. I just wish I knew which part, like what he heard, that made him take time out of his day. To send us an to find our email address and yeah. send us an email to tell us how much he loves us. Because he must have, if he listened off of uh, Spotify or Apple or somewhere there, then he must have had to go to the website to find the email address. Or so our social work. Yeah. Right? He had, had to, to go somewhere. He had he had to go through a hoop or two. Yeah. 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 He he jumped through a couple of hoops. So, so we we like it you. so much that we made it the um, cover photo 
on our Facebook page. As it um, should be. Yeah. It, it, absolutely. It, it's it's so nice to finally have a hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it did. It made me a little giddy. I mean, our first email ever. Yeah. And it's a hate mail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so awesome. I love it so it's much. Just, it's just so, it's just so, fa- look at everybody's beaming. I wish we could see Chris now. He's probably, no, no I'm too. absolutely beaming. It's, it's, it's so wonderful, you know, to find out that my mother learned how to use a computer, first of all, and then send an email. <laughs> I, I mean, figured it was either just, your mother or mine. It see, was one of the two. Yeah. Well, there's the, the money you're spending for her phone is working, Chris. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> she actually has figured out how to use it. Thank God. God, and that, that's why I was actually over at the Silver Spring House, because I don't know whether I've told you or not, but through some weird course or whatever, my dad was gifted a 2004 um, Chrysler Sebring, uh, not Sebring, a um, PT Cruiser. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the thing has 24,000 miles on it. Wow. wow. Yeah. So, I mean, it's got, you know, the paint's coming off on the top because, you know, it sat outside for a while, but the car ran great. I actually took it to Atlantic City last October for a meeting. and No problem. But um, the car's just been sitting for a year and now won't do anything and even try to charge the battery. It would do nothing. So I had to put the key inside of it so a tow truck driver can come and get it tomorrow and take it over to some place so that we can say we have this car working again, because if not, old people get angry. So sure. <laughs> um, and, and dad's like, well, I, this, this really needs to be done, Christopher. I'm like, why is that dad? Well, the registration on that car only goes through the 31st and I have to make another insurance payment on the seventh. We got to get this taken care of. I said, dad, working or not, you're going to make the payment on the insurance and you're going to get new tags. I'm not getting new tags on that piece of shit. <laughs> okay. dad. Right. So, so yeah, this is just good son getting things taken care of. And I bought a new car yesterday for myself. Wow. What did you, what did you get? Rich? I got a 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe fully loaded. Nice. Oh, look at you, and fancy. It's got that beautiful panoramic roof that goes all the way back. Oh, yeah. Um, that's a great roof. Yeah. And it's just, I mean, the car drives like a dream. I mean, it's so weird to be able to change the font on your dashboard to, if you don't like the way the meters look, change it to another kind of meter. Yeah. No so kidding. Neat. Did you use um, Pika and, or Elite? Oh, I actually use Comic Sans. Oh, good. Okay. Because that's the <laughs> easiest way to say, fuck you, officer. I didn't see what it said. <laughs> that's that's funny because Jess and I, before you got here, were talking about um, fonts. <laughs> really? It's almost like you were here. Oh, my God. Well, I kind of was in spirit. Yeah, we, we were talking about fonts. So, so, so brandy new, good smell, comfortable seats. Air conditioned seats. Uh, it does have the ventilated air conditioned or heated oh, seats. The, um, air, the the ventilated seats are so fucking great. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And you know, I walk into a dealership. I know what the prices are. I know what things are supposed to be. And you know, I, I looked at the guy. I said, "I'm not paying over MSRP. I am taking advantage of your four thousand dollars in rebates. I know you're giving three point nine percent interest on these cars." I want all of that, and I want out the door for less than six hundred a month. To make it happen, and I was in and out of that dealership in ninety minutes. Nice, man, that's fast. Yeah. And you know what? They hate to see people like you coming because if you know what things are supposed to cost, they can't fuck with you. Exactly. No, and, and all the ridiculous fucking questions they ask you to try to figure out, you know, how much they can get you for, and how much they're going to give you for a trade, and like, oh, so, so, uh, how much do you owe in your vehicle? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Well, and I walked right in. No trade, no money down. Yeah. Make no. it happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you, I mean, you it was great. Do that. Dude, they have too many fucking little angles where they try to nail you. Because if you don't tell them, you know what the, uh, the, the what they're offering for a um, interest rate, they all, they, they add points. So they right. get it from the bank for 3.9 and they add a half a point or a full point to it. And they, they eat that money. They get that money. I mean, this was bonus. this was great. My credit was actually good enough for the first time in my life to actually get financing directly through the manufacturer, and I've never wow. had that before. Nice. nice. So, so I'm happy. It's it's going to be a good car, and I can't wait to be in debt with it. So, <laughs> man, yeah. my car is a 2012, and I mean, it's fine. It does what it needs to do, and it's fine. But at some point. I'm going to want to get another car, but I don't want to get another car payment. This thing's been paid off yeah. for three years. Yeah. That's the thing that sucks when you get in a car. Cause I haven't had a car payment fucking a blue moon. 
Mm-hmm. And now having a card payment, it's like, fuck me. Yeah. There's, there's just something about it. And, and, and you just, it, it, it just, it doesn't feel good to have a car payment. Well, you feel beholden. And I'm okay with not having a car payment or with having a car payment right now, because I don't have a mortgage. You know, I've got, I've got right. no living expenses. Yeah. So I mean, that, that um, does help. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you know what, I, I'm, I'm okay paying, you know, 600 a month. And I realized that in 2000, 2001, I bought a car that nobody's ever heard of and nobody will ever hear of again. Um, the Isuzu Axiom. Ever heard of that one? Nope. I didn't know yeah. Isuzu still made cars. Well, I didn't that was either. 2001, that was 20 years ago. And the Isuzu Axiom was an SUV and it, it ran great. It was a beautiful car, but I, I just loved it. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. I had to have it. And I think I rolled... Um, a 96 Ford Taurus and a 99 Mercury Sable, those payments into that car. And I was paying seven fifty one a month. <laughs> and that was 2001 money. So I sit back and say, huh, wow. I'm under 600 bucks a month of this car. And it's actually not a piece of shit. So this is, this is good. This is good. Yeah. I'm happy. That's a good thing about cars too. It, it, particularly these, uh, the, the, the brands, uh, the, the Hyundais and the, the the um uh, the other brands that are newer to the U.S. that aren't U.S. brands, they actually make good cars. They do, and this thing is going to run for fucking ever. I know these right. Hyundai's will run for fucking ever. Yeah, the the Hyundai. Well, we had a Hyundai way back when, when uh, Hyundai. I think it was the second year of the the Hyundai car being in. Everybody was up in arms. Ah, oh, fucking uh, Korean God. Oh, everybody, you know, it went, and so. But that's what we could afford. I think a brand new. What was it? It was the Hyundai Elantra and it was 2000 and I don't know. It was 2000 aught something. It was before a 10. And I think the car itself was $7,000 or something like that. Oh, wow. A brand new car. And it might have been 2006 or something. I don't know when the hell it was, but I don't know. It was before then. It was like 2002. So it was cheap. And they were trying to break into the market. It was a great fucking car. But aren't those Absolutely. the ones now, the Elantra, and then there's their Kias as well, I think, that are so easy to steal that insurance companies won't cover them anymore? They're really? easy to steal if they're the key model. Right. But this is a push button start model. Well, and I don't think your I don't think your particular model of car, maybe I'm wrong about that. But I, I see all of these women in these Facebook groups, local Facebook groups that are, you know, their cars get stolen and everybody else is like, that's why you don't buy a Kia. That's why you don't buy a Hyundai. Oh, you know what? The Kia, by the way, the Kia has the best on-car logo of any vehicle that, that that's spelled out Kia, but it's just sort of geometric. On well, the it looks like a vehicle. KN. Yeah, it, it look, it, it's, 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 you really, if you don't know what it is, you're like, what fucking make of that car? <laughs> yeah, how's how's your fucking KN doing, buddy? Yeah, it's it's just it's a great logo. They must have paid somebody great dollars to come up with that logo. It's fantastic. Oh, at least thirty or forty dollars. Things a piece more of shit. Than you can't even tell it says Kia. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> you you do have no idea what it says, but I think it's a great logo. It because it's got nothing negative about it. <laughs> You no, know, oh, no, that it, guy. He didn't. He didn't buy a cheap Korean car. He didn't buy a Kia. He bought a KN. Well, fuck, right. fuck you. All right. Well, I know when I was driving, I, like I drove a Volvo for for many a year, and when when I would go to the bank, the girl there who worked at the bank, woman who worked at the bank, would say, oh, "You and your Volvo. That's such a a snooty vehicle." I said, "What are you talking about? People have definite ideas about people." But based did on you the know vehicle. this woman? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew her. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna be, I was gonna be like, "Bitch, talk about my car again." Yeah, I don't she, know she, you. She was, we, we were friends. We were friends. Okay. And just, just people have certain notions about people based upon the logo on their car. Uh, we lost Christopher. What the hell happened? He left the. Well, he said he had no service, right? Yeah, but he I was coming in pretty said. well. Yeah, I think he said he had no service. He, he might have moved. He, he he might he might have got off the toilet and moved out into the kitchen area. That's true. <laughs> it's it's entirely it's entirely possible. Yeah, people have you know certain ideas about people when they you know. So when I was um, in high school, our our science um, history teacher drove a Volkswagen 
Remember the, it was sort of the Volkswagen station wagon, the rounded station wagon. Um, it, it just was a like a 1968 Volkswagen station wagon of some sort. But it, it's the no. Volkswagen, that was the perfect teacher car. So you saw that car, you're like, oh yeah, that must be a teacher. <laughs> Inexpensive car, reliable, sort of, that must be a teacher's car. Like when you see a Lexus now, I, I see a Lexus, I'm like, oh, wasting money. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting money on a Lexus, hmm. or or a, a, as much as I'd love to have one, I would I would love to have like a um, is it a, a, a road a Ranger, a Ranger, or blah blah. I, I just skipped my mind now that I'd love to have them. Forerunner? Um, no, not no, 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 no. I know what you're talking about. L- Land Rover. Land Rover. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're so just. That's like. But they're crazy expensive. That's the car that people think gives them status in Nashville. There, yeah. But there are there are Land Rovers and Teslas all over this town from people who think I don't know right. what they think. I don't. I don't. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what they think. But but they they apparently think it gives them some some kind well, of status. We had a but, Land, but there are so many of them that it's like, well, you're not special, right? Everybody has one. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like wearing, it's, it's the uniform, right? It's like the grunge uniform. It's like the, the, the guy with the beard and the mustache wax and, and, and that uniform, Mm -hmm. there's all these uniforms and eventually it's unique for about two weeks and then it's a uniform. Yeah. And like, well, you know, it was good for a couple of weeks, but now everybody does it. Mm -hmm. So you got to find some sort of new weird thing to do to stand out. Yeah. You just uh, so Jody had a, a Land Rover um, for a short time and hated it. And to be quite honest, it was a piece of shit. Well, then why did you just say that you wanted a Land Rover? No, well, I wanted uh, that before she got one. It, oh. was, it was my sort of that's a, oh, I want one of those because it just seemed like a great vehicle. It was not a great vehicle. I'm sure there are others. This was a Land Rover Sport, so it was a lower end mm. Land Rover. But you would suspect or you would expect that all of their vehicles would be of high end. Now, now, yeah. now. If you pay 50000 for it, it's not nearly as good as the $130,000 vehicle. I mean, that's the same as like BMWs and their whole yes. line of, yes. you know, people people with a with a 7 Series are sneering at people with a 3 Series. And the people with the 3 Series are like, I just wanted to get a BMW. Yeah. I wanted to wear that that badge on my shoulder. Yeah. Look at look. At, Chris is really knocked out right now. I guess. Yeah. He he's 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 really, really out of it. Now I feel like I should sort of wait for him. I'm not going to wait for him. I'm going to I'm going to smell my soap. Did you see me smell? <laughs> Why mm. do you have soap in your studio to smell? Because it smells and grapefruit. so good. It's a na- it's that stuff that they. You know, people make in their in their kitchen, <laughs> the kind that people make in their kitchen yeah. soap and sell it at the at the craft fair. Mm-hmm. I, those soaps smell so good. The problem with those soaps are they smell good at the craft fair and they smell good before you use them underwater. But after you put them underwater, they don't smell anymore. They just are a big lump of wax. Well, but I also feel like at some point you you stop being able to smell how good it is. Like. I accidentally one time bought this scented laundry detergent. I didn't realize I'd grabbed the scented kind. Right. And it was some kind of floral, some kind of bullshit. I don't know. But I had washed a dress in it that couldn't go in the dryer. And so then I hung the dress up in the bathroom. And for two weeks, even after the dress was put away, my bathroom smelled like that detergent. But then after I used that detergent for a few months... I can't smell it. Couldn't smell it at all. Yeah. You know, so that's sort of like, I never have like, so my vehicle, I didn't really notice the the Subaru Ascent anywhere. And I also got a different license plate. uh, One of the other license plates, the fish and game license plate. I never even noticed those very much around. Now I see those vehicles everywhere and I see that license plate everywhere. Yeah. It's so strange how you're, Fucking mind does that to you. Yeah, it, it, it's it's entirely weird how that does you. Look at here's Christopher. There he Hi, is. Chris. My phone rebooted. Wow. It oh, just, was it, it updating? 
I don't know what the hell it was doing. It was fucking me, because that's what it was doing. <laughs> Sorry about the wind noise. I got out of the car for a minute. Left. It sounds like you got a snack. No, no, that's wind. Really? That is straight up wind. It's 30, 40 mile an hour. Gosh. Wow. What? That's nice. Yeah. Was there some storm yeah. coming? Is there a storm coming up north? I think it. there was just a cold front that came through on Friday. So maybe that's where we're getting all the rain. Could be. Hell, I'm going to be so close to you this week. I'm going to be in New York City this week, Wally. Well, it's, uh, it's about seven hours. Hey, it's better than 14. Yeah, it is. I'm going to yeah, be even is. farther away from both of you. So where are you, where are you uh, going? I'm going nowhere. to San Diego. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, what you San Diego. What are you doing in San Diego? Work stuff. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. The Cheyenne used to live in San Diego. Yeah, it's beautiful there. The yeah. boss got me a hotel room right on the beach, so that's nice. Maybe you can find a sailor. Maybe. A lot of sailors. Well, Jess <laughs> Good, does love hey, some salmon. Did you hear that? Jess left left the door open for finding a sailor. No. Did you see the look on my face when I said it, though? <laughs> yeah, I did see the look on your face, but, but maybe. I don't. You still sort of were like, it's possible. Maybe. Maybe I'll go out and have a cocktail at the bar. Maybe it's, there'll be a sailor there. There's just there. so much. To to meet somebody that far away, though, that that's that's useless to me. Oh, I was watching that show, a show, show that I don't ever watch. But uh, they were at halftime on football. And that's a show I don't like watching either, the halftime show. I switched over that show, Catfish. Have you ever seen that show? I, I that have show not. Years. I haven't what seen a it fuck, in years. What a ridiculous program that is. What a, it's just ridiculous. And the people who who get involved in these catfishing schemes, are they idiots? Yes. A ridiculous program. Are you are you watching the BBC? No. Jesus, Elizabeth, <laughs> now watch this program after Catfish tonight. <laughs> We're going to have another the, episode of Condensation. I do watch the BBC, you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. I'm fucking big I black cock. I got it coming to you. I there watch you I watch Acorn TV. Uh-huh. Which is which is mostly um which is all um English and BBC uh British British Isle sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I I watch um uh, I also watch the BBC, of, of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're, and, just, you're just spewing. I'm watching BBC and Acorn. It's this typical leftist bullshit. That's what this is. <laughs> okay. That's and, well, there's, there is a third, there's a third uh, British channel I watch as well. And I, I, I watch all of them. I, I like that shit. Good. I like, I like the English humor stuff. I like, I like, I like it. I just like it. Shut up, Chris. Hey, you can like whatever you want to. That's fine. Listen, I, I watch Three's Company. You watch fucking, you know, George and Mildred. That's fine. You do what you, you want to do. That's that's fine. I watch it. No, I like to. So I like to watch like um, on, on BBC. I like to watch uh, All Creatures Great and Small. I like to watch. Look at Jess. Huh? It's, well, yeah, but Jess, you don't watch much TV, do you? I it, watch a lot of. T- I watch an obscene amount of TV. And she has no idea what the fuck you're talking about. But yeah, I. Did, did, but did, I can't even judge you for what you watch because I have been watching absolute trash. Well, absolute trash. See, Wally with the BBC. I'm picturing. I'm picturing National Lampoon's European Vacation, where they're in England and they're flipping through every channel, and every channel has the making of cheese on it. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. I watch like Luther with Idris Elba, which is fantastic. I watch Doc Martin, fantastic. And uh, th- there's a lot of uh, a lot of great mystery shows. And yes, there is Agatha Christie and Poirot. There's a lot of that too. Yeah, I like I like that. So show. What what trash are you like- watching, Jess? Well, yeah. I finally finished watching um, every episode of Married at First Sight that I could find. Judas fuck. And Ugh. and then I found there was another yeah. season of Love is Blind, but it turns out it wasn't a full season, so I was pretty mad when I got through whatever it was, four or five episodes and <clears throat> had to wait for more episodes to come out. So, now I'm watching Suits. Now, Suits I actually started watching because I can't stand that one lawyer with the um with the uh it, it, you can't even describe his face, but he always looks like he's straining at stool. 
Yep. Oh, oh, the the Lewis, the half kind of bald guy. Yes, Lewis. Yeah, yep. I fucking. Lewis. I want to punch the screen every time I see that fuck. <laughs> but he's a great character actor, right? Yeah. Every fucking time. My God. Um, he's so good at it. And I keep getting on TikTok. And for some reason, it keeps replaying that first um, the, the scene out of one of the first episodes mm. when um, the dude's running and he gets down into the hotel room um, for the interview. Yep. Yeah. It keeps replaying that on TikTok. I don't know why. But... Really? Yeah, it's always there. Hmm. Yeah, I watched that show when it when it first was on. I watched it, and uh, there, not now I there was an episode I saw the good. other day where that character Lewis was, and and this was like three or four seasons in, where he was so angry that he was shaking, and I just was like, "Holy shit, this guy's really good!" Like, oh, he's an excellent actor. This is a this is him. a character that. Like gets he gets upset, he gets mad, he gets dramatic, but this was like seething anger. It was so good. There are two people on TV that when I see, I have an absolute violent reaction inside. <laughs> okay. And it's that that Lewis character yeah. on suits is number one. And the other one is fucking Dave Hester on Storage Wars. The fucker oh, with the yeah. glasses He's on storage asshole. horse. When I see him, it's such a violent reaction that I want to take off my 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 Doc Martin and throw it at the fucking TV. <laughs> okay. Doc Martin. Now I haven't see, watched well, that one. What, what does he Martin, do that so. makes you have that reaction? Oh, not, I thought he's just an asshole. No, oh. he's just an asshole. He's just an absolute. You know, if Wally's an asshole on the scale of one to ten, Wally's a one. This guy's a forty-six. Okay, <laughs> I mean, he's just and. And and he sits there, and when he when they're bidding up the stuff, everybody raises their hand or whatever. But gets to Dave Hester, goes, "Yeah, oh, fuck you, you fuck." <laughs> okay, <laughs> my I was, God, I was trying to see what else that actor is in. What Louis, Rick Hoffman, who plays uh, Louis Ritt? See, I, I remember I saw him. Lit. He was in an episode of Las Vegas once. I saw him in that. Um, toward the end of the um, run of the show when they were um, going, it was one girl at the hotel was going for the best concierge in town and he was the one that was putting her through the tests. And I saw him, I didn't like him then. Mm. And then when he got to Suits, fuck this guy. He's he's in Billions. What the fuck is that? Uh, that that's a, uh, I think that's an HBO show. Maybe. Oh, I thought it might have been one of your fucking BBC bullshit again. No. <laughs> oh man you know jess opened up the first the first couple of minutes when we were talking before you got here was just hammering me slapping me around bitch slapping me and now you're <laughs> bitch slapping me oh i'm sorry you know what occasionally somebody has to be tina somebody has to be ike and wow that's today. okay that's i guess that's, i'm that's tina today role. you are you are we've all been the tina we've all been the ike yeah, yeah, we all have been the Tina at some point. Yeah. I, I don't want to say I've ever been the Ike, though. <laughs> yeah, I've been the Ike. No, we've been the, been the virtual Ike. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've absolutely. never never been the physical Ike. No, not the physical Ike. No. But the, yeah, I, I, you know, I think when I was younger, I, I had periods of being just a fucking asshole. Oh, so did I. So did I. I, dude, I, I got to say some horrible things to people. I was in North Bullshit, Carolina, yes. and I'm firing this guy, right? <laughs> fucking... And, this dude is sitting in my office and, you know, he, he decided to call the power company and tell him that, hey, I work at Q98. You can't fire me. And oh, well, the power company called Q98. And I sat down with the guy because they were an advertiser as well. The uh, PWC, the cooperative, whatever. They were an advertiser. Right. So I sat down with the guy and I'm like, look, you know what? You really you can't do things like this. And, you know, I think this we're going to let this be a learning a real learning lesson for you, okay? And he said, okay, man, thank you. I said, all right, we're going to need to go down and talk to Kathy for a second. Kathy's the HR woman. And, you know, she says, well, I guess Chris told you that we have to fire you because of what you did to PwC. <laughs> you you said it was going to be a learning lesson. I said, yeah. I bet you'll never fucking do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you learned. Who the fuck tells the power company you can't fire me because I work at the radio? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. You said I'm sorry. You can't fire me. You can't. You can't. You can't turn my power off. That's what it was. You can't turn my power off for not paying a bill. I work at Q98, and well, there you go. <laughs> That's what the equivalent of that? don't you know who I am? 
Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Look, <laughs> my my ex wife used to do that shit too. We'd be walking around Hex, and she wasn't waited on as quick as she wanted to be waited on. Do you not know who the fuck I am? Oh, Jesus. Oh wow. And one woman finally said, "I know who you are, and I don't give a fuck." And that was fun during the days that I used to get dragged to Hex on a Sunday afternoon to buy TV I, clothes. I I don't. I, radio has never, to my memory or recollection being being a, in radio has not ever gotten me any sort of preferential treatment or to the front of the line you know what anywhere that i can remember except for maybe at like buying something at a hot dog stand in frederick know, maryland great. we used to get it yeah yeah in frederick but also that's a small town like I, I always used to laugh at how, like you know, Miranda Lambert's famous in a small town. That's right. that's what I would would laugh about. Like, yeah, people make a big deal about me in this town, but that's because there's not anybody like with real celebrity yeah. in this town. I mean, I got that kind of stuff now and again. Like, you might get, you know, if you're Listen, fifty cents short at the fucking, it got, it got you know, an we, artist. I, I'm pretty sure I told this story on this show. It got an artist who um, was arrested for oh, out of his DUI for or not possession, DUI, out of the pot thing. Yeah, yeah. It got him out of um, like he he didn't have to spend the night in jail because one of the cops told the magistrate that I um, vouched for the guy, and the magistrate was a fan of me. Wow. And let him uh-huh. and let him out. Which I mean, he still really had to come back to court insane. and like pay a fine and all of that, but he didn't have to stay in jail. Right. Well, I, I, I mean, can tell you, Jess, that must have been after our morning show, because I got to believe <laughs> back when you and I were doing morning show, had had you said, oh, Jess vouch for him. Hey, lock that motherfucker up. Right. I what you said about us last Listen, week. Mm-hmm. I didn't know until that moment that I had that kind of pull. I was like, well, shit, if I'd known that, I would have been breaking way more laws. <laughs> and and I, I pass that intersection all the time and I point over there and go, hey, Jenna, that's where Jess got a guy off. <laughs> <laughs> Saw it myself. I, I don't know I, which I, intersection that was. I mean, uh, somewhere on East Street. I don't too know. many to count. There I mean, nothing. No, I would say that when we were doing a morning show together, more people would have wanted to hang us somewhere, Jess, than would have wanted to give us a favor. Probably. See, now, people people wanted to hang you, but Jess and I do in our morning show in the afternoon, people wanted to put gold statues of us across town, except for the bacon lady. But other than that, you know, everybody <laughs> the, loved us. The lady who said we were racist because we the were... The racist woman. Yeah. That, that, and I've never had such freedom yelling at somebody going, you know, you think we're racist? That's not... You know what? You... Turn off your radio. You're not allowed to listen anymore. <laughs> Just turn it off. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that is great. It, and and unfortunately, where Jess and I worked, had we said something like that on the air, Norma would have come running into us. You can't tell listeners they can't listen to us. We could lose a listen. Shut the fuck up, old broad. Yeah. Yeah. That that uh, FRE had enough listeners that we could have shared them with Key One Hundred Three, and we still would have been number one. Yeah. So it was it was fine. Mm-hmm. So outstanding. So listen, are we going to start wearing um um the, the the stuff from our new sponsor? Do I have to go out and get, get a, like a body um, glove if, or something? If you could, if you could see me right now you'd see that i have an under armor sweatshirt on right now do you does it say you guys fucking suck on it because i think those are the shirts that we need to start selling that might actually be in small print on the inside that would be where it says xl i don't know (laughs) the the shirt could be like because the shirt could say cheese wits you guys fucking suck and then uh, dash Stuart m (laughs) it's like that um it's like the movie idiocracy yeah idiocracy Mm -hmm. and going up you know Hardy's, fuck you. Or was it Carl's Jr.? Whatever it was. Carl's Jr., fuck you. That's the shirt I want. I want a shirt that says Carl's Jr., dot, 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 fuck you. Do they That's still exist? Um, They do out in the West. On the East, it's Hardy's. But like past Ohio, it's Carl's Jr. for some reason. You know, we it's have no like, Hardy's in Maine. It's like rallies and checkers. You know, I, I've never understood why the names are different. They're the same fucking restaurant with the same fucking logo. You know, we have none of those here. We, we we don't have any of those those fabulous Midwestern places. Like we just don't have any of those. Oh my god! I thought I was going to suck a dick when they opened a Sonic up in Frederick because they uh, they didn't have any of that stuff around here. And then all of a sudden, five six years ago, maybe more, 
They opened up a Sonic right in the Walmart parking lot. Speaking of fast food, I was at the Taco Bell on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Nacho, cheese, french fries. Fantastic. They are good. And I had the grilled cheese burrito the other day, which was excellent. Oh, I have not had that. I just wanted some French fries, so I got the French fries, and they give you a little cup of nacho cheese to dip the seasoned nacho French fries in. Yeah, Delicious. try driving with that. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Difficult you cannot drive with the cheese in the new car. Uh, well, the new car. Okay, so the new car. Last night, I'm like playing around with the uh, the road. Um, the thing that keeps you in your lane. And I'm yeah. like, let's take my hand off the wheel for a second, see what it does. Place hands on wheel right across the <laughs> dashboard. I'm like, Jesus Christ, big wow. brother. Okay. Yeah. How fast does it take to do that? Uh, about a second and a half. Oh, really? No, yeah. mine, you could do it for about uh, 15 or 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. So you could blow point. your nose and then put your hand back on the wheel. Does it yeah, park this... itself for you? It does not park itself, but it doesn't have a shifter either. You just push buttons. Oh. You know, to go from Ooh. park to drive. And Ooh. if you're in drive and you open up the door of the car, it goes back to park immediately. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. And have, the um, have you eaten in your car yet? I have not. I think it's only got 23 miles on it as of right this second. So no, I'm I'm in the old car right now. Um, but the one thing that's cool, which you might like, Mr. Techie Wizard there, Wally, <laughs> is <laughs> oh, yeah, Gail. Um, where the speedometer and the tachometer are. Um, tachometers on the right, speedometers on the left. If you make a right-hand turn, the tachometer turns into a camera. If you're making a left, the speedometer turns into a camera. That's so you awesome. can see what's next to your mirrors and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. I feel awesome. like I would crash my car because I would be so distracted by the shit changing on, <laughs> on the... Oh, yeah. and, you know what? I probably would too. I was sitting there and I was looking at my phone at an intersection and all of a sudden it goes bing, bing. And it, I look down and it says, car in front of you is leading away. Yeah, so it's like telling me time to go. Wow. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. My, mine does that. Yeah. I, maybe all cars need to have that because I fucking have sitting behind, I'm sit behind assholes at stoplights or at, at places where the car, the traffic in front of them. I never understand. I'm eight cars back. I can see the traffic moving and the idiot in front of me is still sitting there. Looking at what, his what phone. What are you doing? Looking at their oh, phone. You, you, you want to get out. You really do want to have road rage, right? I tell you what, um, not too long ago, I was going somewhere with a friend of mine who is in her 30s. Yeah. And I so young. was backing into a parking spot because I like to do that. And I was using my mirrors and looking over my shoulder. And I have a backup camera, which I only really use like once I know I'm getting close to where I want to stop. That's when I yeah. use the camera. But I was looking over my shoulder and I was using the mirrors and she went, wow, you're doing that old school. What? Hold on. Hold on. I was like, get on. out of my you, car you do, right now. You old do. School. You do what? You look at the backup camera when? When I'm when I'm almost as far back as I want to go. It kind of shows you where you where you are. So I know where I want to stop. OK, that's like watching Final Jeopardy. And having them say the answer and you're going, oh, I knew it. I knew it. That was it. <laughs> and I'm just saying that's what that is. And that's what it is. you won't share the answer with anybody before the reveal. But God damn it. After, I fucking knew that. Yeah, I use my mirrors still too, Jess. Yeah. I, but I, she I, said, I, she I, said, oh, you're you're doing this old school. I was like, get out of my car. I haven't used a rear view mirror to back up since the camera was put in the car. I figure if that fucker knows I'm between the lines, okay. Go but ahead. see, mine doesn't have, like a lot of them have lines on the, the screen yeah. and mine yeah. doesn't have that. So, so I can see if there are parking lot lines, I can see those through the camera, but I can't see the, those curving lines that a lot of people have in theirs. Mine doesn't have that. Wow. The, the shows you if you're straight or not. Yeah. It's like being yeah, in a third world, isn't it, Jess? It really is. <laughs> I struggle. See, I don't back I into suffer. spot. Why, why do you back you back into a parking spot? Yeah. So how come? Mostly it's because in a parking lot, when you are trying to back out, it's so hard to see around yeah. the cars on either side of you. And pedestrians, while they do have the right of way, 
take that shit serious enough that they don't even bother to see if your car oh, is moving. No. They just walk right the fuck behind you. So Pedestrians it's so much. They really are. So it's so much easier to me to pull forward. I can see everything I need to see in all directions and it's less dangerous. And when I was at my old house, I backed into my driveway because I was on a busy road and it was easier to get out by pulling forward. And now I back into my driveway because it's the easiest way to get into my garage. So easier to escape when the no armed woman came by. <laughs> yeah. Who thinks my name is yeah. Tess, by the way. Hey, Tessie. Really? Yeah. She thinks you're is Tess? Mm-hmm. Hey, there, there she is. That woman on the radio. That's Tess Bright. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I, the, the, the people in parking lots, I, I don't know when they fucking got so, I don't know, privileged that they didn't have to look out for cars backing up or pulling out of parking spots. They give you shit. Like, I am in a V, I am in a, in this metal fucking. Con- I'm going to win. That weighs. <laughs> Nearly 6,000 pounds. Yes. Yeah. Now, though you are tipping the scale at about, you know, whatever it is that you're swearing at me, throwing shit at me, you're not winning. Mm-hmm. Whether you're fucking you, a little tiny you, kid or a big, giant, tall person, you're not winning. Are you driving a Hudson or something? What the fuck? Oh, you, what, your car probably weighs about 5,000 pounds. Rob, I, I don't know. I don't. So I don't ask it what its weight is. <laughs> you know, I don't judge. My, my, well, no, but when you're walking in a parking lot, you better judge. You better judge. Let's see. The car weighs 5,000 pounds. I weigh 100 pounds. I think it all comes. I lose. It all comes from the mid 90s. It all comes from the mid 90s when Forrest Gump is pushing Captain Dan and he's smacking on cars going, I'm walking here. I'm walking. <laughs> that's what it's from. I think that's when people became empowered and decided that, fuck you. Yeah. Well, then you, you got to go back then to Dustin Hoffman saying that same line in Midnight Cowboy. Oh, exactly. I thought you were going to say in Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm an Wally, excellent Wally driver. Drives, Wally drives more than on the driveway and on Sundays. Okay. <laughs> I am Please. reasonably sure. I drive a oh, ton. That's so nice. But they yeah, like you just, of- if you're, if you have to back out of a parking spot, you have to watch for somebody who might be backing out of the parking spot behind you. You have to watch for, sure. for people who are driving in either direction. You have to watch for pedestrians who aren't paying attention. If you're parked or, forward, if you, if you just have to pull forward, you can see all of that so much more easily. Or you can be the worst kind of asshole. <laughs> the worst kind of asshole is the guy or girl or woman, the driver who parks who pulls into the parking lot spot. And then as you're getting ready to pull into the empty spot across from them, they decide to leave and drive right through. And oh, then I thought you were going to say you. they decide to whip their door open. Oh no. I, those fucking people who, who are leaving, who drive through the spot across without looking at anybody's coming and then flip you off and say, Hey, fuck you. Can't you see I'm going to go use that fucking parking spot to drive out of? You don't get to park there till I'm gone. I had somebody do that to me. And I was in a girl I was dating. She had a Kia Soul. What a piece of shit that was. Oh, well, yeah. That's a piece but of shit. We drove that into a Wegmans parking lot. And guys, like, I was waiting for that spot. I'm like, you were on the other side of the lot. And go inside, come outside. He's keyed the fucking car. Oh, oh what an asshole. I tell you what, mm-hmm. I saved a life the other day. I was um I, I had just come out of a doctor's appointment and I was sitting in my car and I was just sending a quick text before I left. And all of a sudden I hear and feel something hit the side of my car. And okay. I look over, hadn't even noticed this man had pulled in close enough that he could not open his car door without hitting mine. <laughs> and he did it three or four times. <laughs> and then I'm like, as I'm trying to decide what the hell to, if like, am I going to get out and fucking murder this man? Um, he, I realize he's, he's actually parked crooked. Like he just pulled in however the fuck and he's parked crooked and, and really close to my car. I couldn't, there was no way I could even have backed out because I was parked forward in that in that particular instance. Right. I couldn't have even backed out because my mirror would have hit his. There was just nowhere for me to go. And then he finally realized that I'm looking at him hitting my car door repeatedly. And he gets back in his car, pulls out, pulls around and parks on the other side of me. 
and I did not stab him. <laughs> you did so save that, a life. So that's what you're talking about, saving a life. Yes. Wow, I'm surprised be... you didn't get a freedom medal or something. I oh, know. Maybe they're just still having it engraved. Hey, yeah. Wally, Wally, let me get online. I'm going to get her one of them Shriner kid blankets and have it sent to her. <laughs> okay. well, we'll see some pictures of Jess in the in the Tennessee Picayune. <laughs> they, they bring Jess together with some firemen, a policeman, the manager of whatever of the of the plaza where the doctor's office is, and this guy handing her a plaque saved a life. <laughs> Oh, Save the life. Can you picture that in the penny saver, the big picture that's going to be in there, and and Jess is getting the key to like Ward Five in Memphis. I mean, it's great. Listen, not all heroes wear capes. I know. <laughs> and, and and she'll get some sort of like coupon for for the for the local Denny's or something. You know, A when you say you Shonies. say not all heroes wear capes, let me tell you about my hero last night at dinner. Okay, I got um. I ordered ten boneless buffalo wings at um, at um, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Those are called chicken nuggets, but continue. Yes. Correct. And she brought fifteen. Oh, that wow. is a hero. Wear capes. Uh huh. That that is a hero. That and is I only a paid hero. for ten. And let me tell you, that garlic parmesan as good going in as it is coming out. <laughs> See, okay. <laughs> That's what happens when you when you hire people who aren't high school graduates. Mm -hmm. Oh they my can't God. count to 10. Mm -hmm. 1 2 Nine. A B <laughs> 3 C 4 5. Okay, we're there. See, it's it's you see and it's not often you're on the receiving end of of bad service that you're appreciative of. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Right? Normally, normally you get seven nuggets mm -hmm. instead of ten. So I consider this a win for everybody involved. And it's sort of a make good, right? It's it's sort of making up for the the times you get eight and absolutely ten. You know the wrong sauce. Yeah, I don't like the buffalo wild wings so much, and and I certainly, if I get the wings, their wings are not fabulous. Well, no. listen, eleven o'clock last night. When I was looking for something to eat because we had gone to a party and we just needed something, my choices to sit down in a restaurant were Buffalo Wild Wings and IHOP. Oh, yeah. That was it. I'm, and I'm, so yeah. I chose the Buffalo Wild Wings. And, you know, the IHOP isn't awful. I actually had a chicken biscuit sandwich from there the other day, which was um, their normal biscuit, which is always good. It had a piece of chicken, piece of fried chicken in the middle. With pickles, gravy, and hash browns. Doesn't that sound good? I mean, my asshole is still speaking to me from that one. I mean, I hope it all gets out of my system before I get on the Amtrak to New York on Tuesday. Jeez. Remember you when, know, when IHOP did the whole IHOB? Remember when yeah. they did that whole campaign? They had they uh -huh. had some good burgers. Yeah. Yeah. They had there were I had a couple of those, but Chris, I'm a little concerned for you now. You should I be a lot concerned. Laying well. off the fried foods. I am, but it was a necessary thing. And literally, literally, you've listened to two fried things that I've had out of a seven day period, and that's it. So two out of seven ain't bad. Did you drop acid after? No, no, I stopped dropping acid, fucker. But I, you know, I forgot <laughs> to take the um, acid reducer pill last night <laughs> when I got home. And yeah. about four o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I'm like, oh, God. I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot to take the pill. So I took the pill and I chased it with uh, about a gallon and a half of Gaviscon. And I feel fine. Okay. Oh, that Gaviscon. Fine. That Gaviscon is good shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, five minutes later after the Gaviscon, I was like, okay, yeah. you're, you're fine. You're Gaviscon's fine. good shit. Yeah, I forgot <clears throat> to uh, last, I think it was last night, I was very in pain. And it was, my muscles were just horribly constricted and feeling in pain. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? And then Jody says to me, oh, I see you forgot to take your medication yesterday. Like, oh, that's why. Oh. I forgot to take the, the medication that, that uh, causes, that, that helps my muscular system not fucking tense up and, and, and become rigid and hurt. Because when that happens, boy, fucking bending, twisting, wiping my ass, all that stuff becomes a chore. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. But by the way, I have, I was, there was something else I was going to mention. I have not yet installed it, but I have a bidet. I was going to go right on that path. 
I, I, I have a, a we have a toilet seat that has a bidet in it, and and I have not um, hooked up the hose yet to for the bidet to work. But I'm I'm really concerned because the water can be very cold, or it can be very hot. Yeah, well, we don't have heated water, so okay, I, I don't well, have that. So I I could put hold, in a hold on uh, in like the a, house. No, we we have hot water, but but no, the the, the this hooks up straight to. The water coming up from the floor that goes into the the turret. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's gonna be cold as fuck, Wally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be cold as fuck. So, so the only way to take care of that would would to put a um an instant heat. <laughs> that 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 may uh end those get real hot. Ever having another child? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gosh, next week on the Chris and Jess show, well, we mourn the loss of Wally. <laughs> right. Of some, well, there was some anal pressure involving water. And um, Wally. Have you ever used a bidet? Now, here's something funny. So <laughs> during, during COVID, I went up to Atlantic City and um, they were just, it was, there was an air show that was going on that me and my friends went to see and Caesars upgraded me. It was midweek from a normal hotel room into this fucking boardroom suite. Nice. Okay. And, um, I will never forget certain things about this boardroom suite, including the TV, which had a very weird form of the old program guide on it. And the movie, the natural was coming on and, you know, it would give you a description of the movie. And, and for the natural, it's an old baseball player. That's all it said. So that's one of the things I remember about the room. Stupid descriptions. Old baseball player. You know, it's a, like the Wizard of Oz, you know, girl kills and then kills again. But um, the room had a bidet in the bathroom. And it was a separate bidet next to the toilet. And um, I looked at this thing and I'm like, God, why is there a urinal in here? This is so I took a piss in the bidet just just straight up. And thought, okay, well, the other one's for sitting and shitting. But, um, yeah, I took a piss in the bidet. I'm like, how do you clean this out? And I pushed the thing on the floor, which shot the water and the piss straight into my fucking face. Okay. Just straight up fucking six feet in the air. It shot my piss and hot water. That's not good. Okay. Housekeeping. No, that was, that was, oh, who's going to call housekeeping? I was too goddamn embarrassed. I knew what the fuck just happened. So... I, I know a few people who have bidets in their houses and people who have used a bidet and they say the bidet is a sexual experience in many cases. So I may not want to hook the bidet up. My wife may find a reason not to need me anymore. <laughs> or, or you might find a reason not to need her anymore, Wally. I mean, she's that's not, totally you know, possible. While he's getting a rim job when he sits down. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's definitely not an ass licker. I mean, okay, while well. toys have existed for a really long time, your wife already does not need you. Uh, As a girl that I dated. In bullying a, again, Jess, I see. <laughs> bullying again. Did, hold on one second, Tina. Let me give you this. We were in, in Fayetteville. Girl I dated down there had huge knockers. We actually used to call her crazy tits because she was so insane. And... <laughs> One day she's in the bedroom and she's sucking her own boobs and she looks up at me and laughs and says, what the fuck do I need you for? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, there you go. There, I'm, there I'm not sure. I'm not sure that, uh, that that breasts are all that exciting. Are they all that exciting for women? I, I don't know. Not and really. They, whatever mm -hmm. floats people's boats. I mean, yeah, you know. I, I have not in, in my many years and some conquests i have not ever known a woman who was more turned on by breast play than than the other part of the body look i've had it both ways i mean i've had what the fuck do i need you for all the way down to they're just tits yeah mm -hmm. yeah that, that's so. where i am on that whole thing too that they're just tits no Same. i i am not i am still I am still, I'm the little kid in Animal House where the girl comes running through the window, you know, bouncing off the float. And I'm going, thank you, God. That's where I am. <laughs> oh, Jess, I wanted to ask you this. So there's a movement. I've seen a movement and it's, it's, a, it's a woman movement. Okay. So I have to ask you about it because I don't know anything about this. There's this movement I've seen around here and then other places I've seen stuff online regarding it. 
women who can't afford feminine hygiene products. I've Are you that. aware of this movement? I didn't know there was a movement, but I knew there that is. there There's... were women who can't afford them because that shit's gotten more and more expensive. Yeah, and there's something around the DC or I forgot what the girl's name is, but it's like called Michelle's Closet or something like that. Yeah, where yeah, like yeah. you need something, they give you they give you free tampoons or or yeah. So I'm not, yes or something. I'm gonna throw this out there, not because I have any, I don't have anything against this at all, but when you pick a spokesperson for this shit, yeah, or when you're gonna put do a news story and you're gonna have some people representing why women need this, because I I, I know that this is a need. Mm-hmm. I'm aware that this is a need. Don't fucking get the girls who have $300 sets of nails and $80 sets of eyelashes to say, I can't afford tampons. Or don't get don't somebody use that so girl. Fucking, don't get the old person either. Can you can you imagine? Hi, I'm Shirley Jones. And I'd like to talk to you about <laughs> Shirley free tampons. Jones, shut up. <laughs> Did you go Partridge family? Jesus Christ. And oh, isn't she dead? You know, because that would be. Hi. Well, Okay, well, there's another one that's not dead. Let's go this route. Okay. Hi, do you need free tampons? Well, I don't use them anymore. I'm Joyce Randolph, and I know how to get them for you. <laughs> now, no Joyce, idea, Joyce Randolph? I, I, I don't Joyce know Randolph. Joyce Randolph. Joyce Randolph, she was Trixie on The Honeymooners, and she just turned 99. Really? Uh-huh. Trixie is 99. Yeah, 99. You know what? I'm thinking that, so Chris can mock my watching of of british television i'm having uh-huh. a feeling chris is watching a lot of tbs yeah i i am one of these people and i am not afraid to admit it i don't know whether it's anxiety depression it's both i'll fucking know but whatever it is i watch the same shit over and over again because i'm comfortable with it and i know what's going to happen really okay so i over and over again in my queue is boston legal and cheers and the Golden Girls and Three's Company and Las Vegas. Now, see, I rotate for me, through all those shows. I'm kind of the same way, but for me, it's Dateline and Forensic Files. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> yeah. Me, I like new. I want to see something I haven't seen before most of the time, except for when it comes to like classic movies. Like I could watch Philadelphia Story, The Maltese Falcon, stuff with great. I like stuff with great but, writing. So I can watch stuff with great writing. I know it's fucking weird, but I like good writing a lot. I've stepped out of the box lately for myself because actually watching something I'm not familiar with, you know, like I just finished up The Sopranos. I'd never watched it originally, but I made it through the whole way. You know what? I just watched that last year for the first time. Oh, my fucking God. I love that show. And, you know, my favorite character on that show. Any guesses? I, I big pussy. No, when big pussy got it on the boat, that wasn't good. Um, no, Tony's mom, because that is such the typical <laughs> Italian mother going, Oh, Lord, you don't love me. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it's great. I love her. I don't know enough about that show. I haven't seen enough of that show to 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 know, but I, I know when a character's called Big Pussy, you, you, you're gonna know that there's a guy called Big Pussy on a show. Mm-hmm. You ever watch? Do you remember watching the Flintstones? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How racist was this fucking show? Oh my god! There was an episode that was on whatever the the Adult Kids channel is, whatever it's called, Boom or something like that. They had the Flintstones on, and it was an episode where they wanted to learn karate. So they've got this short Asian guy Jesus. in there and they go, Oh, you can get bronze revel. Oh, you get silver revel. Oh, you get gold revel. And, and you hear them banging a gong every time he fucking says it. It's like, Oh my God. The most racist, I think of any cartoon ever, at least yeah. in my impression is Mr. Magoo. Mr. Magoo was about as racist. I mean, I think all of the cartoons from back in the day, Foghorn Leghorn is a fucking plantation owner. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. I mean, all of the cartoons from back then were racist. Once in a while. Yeah, you're right. What were you saying, Molly? Bugs Bunny was an Asian, did play an Asian character now and again, too. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Absolutely. Doing the Hero Joe thing. Yeah. 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 
yes. all the time. And and you know, if 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 Acme Anvils were a race, Jesus Christ, that show would have been canceled. <laughs> I mean, how many Anvils got got dropped on the Roadrunner? You know? yeah. yeah, it was. It, it was. I, you're absolutely. You're right. But times have changed. Well, times have changed. Yeah. Think of that. The shit you're watching. Three's Company. They had a long thing because of Suzanne Summers being gone. Right. Yeah. And fucking Norman Fell doing the Tinkerbell shit around Jack. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like, could you imagine if anybody did that today? How fucked they would be. Yeah. So My now God. the question is, if you watch it, now I haven't seen one of those episodes, would I still giggle when he did that? Oh, absolutely. Yes, you absolutely. would. Absolutely. You would watch yeah. it and you would absolutely laugh. You would snicker and, for sure. And I wish my grandfather was alive. But in a different way, right? So you'd watch it like I would watch it like <laughs> I can't believe they do that. Kind of Why? kind of in the same way that we would laugh until we vomit when Chris makes a paraplegic joke. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Except I don't think anybody's gonna vomit because of mm, Tinkerbell. Now no. they are going to vomit when we talk about the vegetable like that, which I apologize, Wally. But um, you know, by the way, how's she doing? You heard from her this week? She's called me three times and I haven't picked up the phone. But yeah, that, you know what? My sister's not handicapped, and I do the same thing. That's amazing. I haven't. No, because my fucking every my sister has this knack of telling me how fucking horrible life is all the time. Hmm. As does I, my sister. Oh. Uh, she's always whining now now hold on now while hang on a second you you must have seen the sopranos because your sister sounds exactly like tony's mother (laughs) same fucking thing she's always like i sent her a um i sent her a tablet um because she didn't have one so i sent her a tablet and uh the 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 counselor social worker helped her set it up she calls me up to tell me the tablet broke I'm like, what happened to the tablet? The the screen crack. Well, crack. Turns out, she fucking dropped the tablet and ran over it with her wheelchair. Oh well, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 so she wants a new tablet. Well, so I talked to the social social worker. I know it's fine. It's got a little crack in it, but everything's fine with it. But so everything in her life is just the absolute. Fucking worst. No matter what, it, they had peas today at lunch. I don't like peas. <laughs> and then it's a whole fucking diatribe about why she doesn't like peas. And she's allergic to everything, but she's allergic to nothing. I can't eat. I can't drink milk. I'm lactose intolerant. What'd you have for dinner? Macaroni and cheese <laughs> and ice cream. <laughs> How was it? Really good. <laughs> Like what Good the fuck? God. She's Damn. just a. She's a, who, who is this? There. Speaking of cartoon characters, there is a cartoon character that everything is like. Oh, I'm so bad. Eeyore. The worst. Is oh Eeyore for sure. Just Eeyore floating and, um, by. <laughs> God, and, and, and you know, for noticing. <laughs> fucking sad sack in the army too. Yeah. You know? Like but that. but I don't I don't pick up I pick up the phone once every four or five times when she calls, and sometimes she's incessant. She'll call me three times consecutively. She'll call me at seven thirty, seven forty five p.m., eight eight fifteen, and I'm like I'm not pick I'm not picking up the phone, and it pisses me off. The reason why it pisses me off is she doesn't leave a message. But she hangs on the phone long enough for the voicemail to kick in. Uh, so I have, to get up. I have to get up and go turn off the beat. Okay. So you've you've got that. Now my sister, quote, normal, even though bipolar is fuck. So she'll call at seven o'clock. Okay. I don't answer. She'll call at seven oh five. Don't answer. Calls at seven ten. I'm like, well, somebody must be dead. Okay. So so I pick up the phone. Hello. You will answer the phone for your sister. Click. <laughs> okay. There it is. Wow. I feel pretty oh, yeah. lucky. My brother and sister and I don't call each other. We text each other because it is 2023. Yeah. Well, well, a, my, so my sister does not have a cell phone. Yeah. And she has had three previous cell phones provided to her by um, the state where she lives. Because <laughs> 
I'm just, she, I'm just picturing Wally calling the group home party line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Because she lives in a um, uh, assisted living right. and she has social security because she's been, uh, um, she, because she was a foster kid and blah, 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 all, all the weird stuff in, of government, but she's broken every single one. And, and she's broken them because she's careless mm -hmm. and because she doesn't have an appreciation for this shit costs money. Yeah. So, so they, the won't give her, Come on. they won't give her another one. <laughs> And she, they won't give me another one. Yeah, and and, and she's a bit racist. <laughs> and she she has said things to me. They've given all the phones to the blacks. Well, at least she said blacks. <laughs> and I they mean, don't have. Yeah, she no. She I don't think she knows the n word. If she good, did, she'd probably use it. Okay. But she so she's lived this very sheltered sort of life. She didn't always live in a group home area or, or an assisted living. But she she moved in with a guy because you can't stop people from living life. Mm -hmm. So she gets to be independent. She moved in with a guy who was really just stealing her her the social security and stuff. So now she's in the group home thing. But so he she didn't become racist. She became racist she, because of her life with this guy for fifteen years or whatever. Because he's a horrible racist. Mm -hmm. So. So he convinced her that she couldn't get a new phone because of the blacks. Oh, and that's why blacks. she didn't have a phone. <laughs> and I, no, that, that, that's not why. It's because you've broken too many of them and they're not going to give you another one. And you abuse the privilege. Mm -hmm. well, they would you. They would have given me another one if I was one of the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. that's, really, that, 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 that's where she lives sometimes. It's like that's I've been on that phone call with you. It's crazy. <laughs> that's where she lives but but it's it's you know it's i i try to educate her on that and she just gets mad at me you don't know what it's like well she's right i don't know what it's like um i don't know what it's like for the blacks to prevent me from having a phone <laughs> but now let me ask when when she talks to you does everything end on a flat note like that does oh, she speak does she speak say tonally and everything ends on b flat yes okay very flat, and, it, 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 and even when she stutters, it stays the same. God, I wish my sister would do that. <laughs> it just, it just her, her studies, her stutter stays the same. I wish she could drink alcohol or something. It might, it might pick up her, might change her, her, her banter and her canter pace. Uh, it might, might change the pace of her. But it's, the, it's the same monotone, flat. Just mm, even when she's saying whoa, 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 Wally to me, it's just the, the same, just right across, right across the face. And she has no problem with any of her complaining. Even when I tell her, stop complaining. You don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one, and, one day it's going to be picture it, Sicily, 1912. <laughs> <laughs> I was growing tomatoes in the back. And, and I that's... met this man and we made passionate love and he ran off to America and his name, Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <laughs> then I met Mussolini and life got better. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. But but that all that being said, sh she's like such a good hearted, even though she's got a racist. And she doesn't even know it's racist, right? Mm -hmm. She has no idea. Yeah. That's like that's like my grandmother saying about the racist down the hall. Well, he means well. <laughs> no, she doesn't mean well. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't understand the concept of racism. Like so, so she's, she's just like, she's echoing something that she yeah, heard. She, yeah, she's working on like a, a nine-year-old intellect. So it doesn't. She doesn't know. She she's, she she doesn't understand that there's what racism even is. Mm -hmm. You know, she she, she she's wonderful thing. with. You know, she, she's got to get her catheter, you know, fixed. That's that's that she knows about. She doesn't know about any of the other stuff. I asked her to, she was going to, she, she can't write really. She has a hard time writing because she only, she her vocabulary is so small in the writing area. So it's just, it's just the way life is. And I'm going to be her executor. My dad dies. He's already told I'm the executor. She doesn't know this. Wait, she finds out I'm in charge of her money. Mm -hmm. Aren't you lucky? 
get, get, guess how quickly I'm not going to be a Caucasian anymore. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> You're going to be stealing the phones from her. My brother is black and he won't give me money. <laughs> It'll happen. She'll say it. All right, you guys, I want to eat. Yeah, I got to go pack. All right. Where, yeah, oh, I yeah, got to for... pack too. Are you leaving tomorrow, Jess, or when? I am leaving tomorrow. What airline yeah. are you taking? Southwest. Is that a, is that, is that a, a a good airline there? Yeah. Uh, Southwest you, is fine. Southwest is a good airline. I'm I'm on Amtrak, so pray for me. I like Amtrak. I yeah, well, I, I like Amtrak and here so my big advice for Amtrak is always always um ride business class. Because on business class, they turn the seats in whatever direction you're going so you don't get motion sickness. Oh, well, good. Then I'll, I can actually upgrade to business class for $27, so I think I will. Yeah, biz, in, in, in regular coach, you, what, you can be driving backwards. In business class, they turn the seats. At least they do on ours. They turn the seats so they're facing whatever direction you're going. Hmm. Good times. Is, okay. Which is fabulous. And, and plus, it's bigger seats, and they have uh, electric outlets at the seats. Oh, that's what I need. So I might have to do that. Okay. Do we need the joke for the week? Yes. Yeah. I want to hear a joke for the week. Okay. What is the difference between a circus and the Rockettes? I don't know. Um, uh, well, one of, one of them is a cunning array of stunts. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I like it. Enjoy go. the enjoy the week, you guys. All Good right. job. Talk yeah. to you all later. <laughs>